Namaskar children. I welcome you all to this class. Today's topic is fractions. It's easy to count a whole thing. For example, a whole pizza. But if we have to find a part of it, how will we count it then? We will do it with the help of fractions. Let me tell you first the definition of fractions. A fraction is a number which represents a part of a whole object. Let's make it easy for you by taking an example. Let's take this circle and imagine it's a pizza. It is not divided or cut into any parts. So it is a whole, one whole pizza. How many pieces can you see? Only one. So it's whole or one pizza. Now if I have to divide this whole pizza with my best friend, I will divide my pizza into two equal parts. So how much I and my friend will get? If there are two pieces, I will get one out of two pieces. So my fraction will be one by two. That means I will get half of the pizza or you can say one half or two halves. This shows that fraction can also be written as one by two where the top number is called numerator and the number at the bottom is called denominator. Denominator tells us how many equal parts there are in a whole and the numerator tells us how many of these equal parts are used or maybe counted by you. Let's understand this better with the help of another example. In this particular pizza, I have to share it with two of my friends. Now I will divide my one whole pizza into three equal parts. So each one of us will get one, one out of three parts of this pizza. So my fraction will be one third. That means I got one third of the pizza. But today you know what? I'm really, really hungry and I want to have two parts of it. So my fraction will change it into two by three. Let's take more examples of a day when it's my birthday. Obviously, I will be sharing it with all my classmates. So I have divided my pizza into four equal parts and each part will be one quarter. Remember, one part out of four equal parts. That means one by four, which we also call as quarter. Wow, you know what? Your fractions are really, really clear to you. Let's see if you can understand the rest of the examples on your own. Why don't you try, observe and solve how the fraction of yellow circle is 3 by 5. Fraction of brown chocolate donut is 4 by 6. Fraction of grey circle is 5 by by 7. Fraction of apple pie is 2 by 8. Fraction of purple circle is 1 by 9. Or if you can answer why the fraction of orange circle is 2 by 10. I'm sure you will get your answers. Look, didn't I tell you this topic is very easy and interesting. Hope you enjoyed the class. Stay healthy, stay safe.